I installed a remote kit for my New Holland TD35DA. It's a deluxe model of tractor and there wasn't a whole lot of instructions on the internet about how to do this, but the idea is, is that I needed the two remotes um, to be able to do different things with my attachments. Uh, namely, I've got a third function valve that I like to use for my grapple as well as a log splitter. And I had it plumbed in some funky way and for many, many years I just wanted to do something very different. So I decided to get the two remote valves, the dual remotes. So you can see them there, the first remote and the second remote and then all the plumbing. I bought these as kits and um, I was about to put this thing all back together and I thought I'd put it on the internet so that if anybody else was trying to do this, they'd at least understand. But essentially, it's a very easy job. It just takes a little while. But you've got this cap that is normally on the manifold of the um, hydraulics here. You take that off. There are four O-rings in there. And I did replace the four O-rings, but you probably didn't have to. Um, the kits, the first valve kit, the remote kit comes with that valve. The, the valves are identical to each other. They just kind of sit on top of each other. And this goes, so one goes on the where the cap used to be. The first one goes where the cap was. The second one goes on top of the first one. And the cap goes on that. They provide a whole bunch of different things for the kit. So these four screws were replaced. I'm sorry, these, these four screws replace the existing screws that were there that were the shorter screws. If you're only gonna get one remote, they provide a set of screws for that. If they, if you wanna do the two remotes, they give you the longer screws for that. And apparently, I think you can put two more remotes on this. Um, at least that's, that's for the space up on top. There's space for two more levers. So this is the um, three-point hitch mechanism. Um, there is a cover plate on this. This is what would make this very difficult to film. There's a cover plate that goes on here that hides all this. So I didn't want to put that on. It's going to go on last. But essentially the plumbing is pretty easy. You put the remotes on. They give you the plumbing. You just got to be careful when you do the plumbing. It's hard to get it all in there because there's not much space to work. So you have to do sort of the first one. And then I move to, to do the first one. I move this one out of the way you know, 90 degrees, and then I can get my wrench in there to tighten that down. I put this one back on, and then I tighten everything else down. So tighten the first two down, then tighten these two down. And then over here, of course, they make the plumbing to where it fits your tractor perfectly. And then they provide the plate for the first valve. And then since I got the second valve, they, they provided a plate for the second valve as well. And then the, the shrouds to hold those valves in place perfectly all the covers and everything come with the kit and i guess the only other thing that's kind of hard to see in here is they do provide the levers this is for the second function this is for the first remote second remote they provide two different levers one for the deluxe tractor and one for a standard tractor i guess the deluxe tractor is just a little bit taller so they want you in these parts, in these kits, they want you to throw a bunch of stuff away when you're done. So you're gonna have a lot of spare parts. But essentially these 10 millimeter um, bolts that they give you with lock washers hold the levers in place. Um, the one thing that they don't tell you a lot in the uh, instructions is, is that you've got to pull the cover off. There's three screws. There's one there and one there. And there's one underneath here that hold on the cover for the valve kit. This is the cover I'm talking about. This cover will come off. Then you can put your levers, you know, down in the chassis and then put the cover back on and then you put the screws back in. So this is just the PTO um, levers. This is the first remote. This is the second remote. They give you color codes. What I wasn't expecting, I was I was kind of hoping that there would be a detent. This is, this is a true remote, so it, it's a spring back. So I may end up replacing the uh, hydraulic valves to give me the um, 
the detent so I can leave it in the up position um, because I want to do a log splitter. It has to be open for the log splitter to work, but it's going to go back in there. So I, at least for now, I'm, I'm going to have to stuff a piece of wood down there to hold the valve open to let my log splitter work the way it's supposed to work. And the log splitter is over here. It's got a, it's got its own valve for you know pushing the piston back and forth. And then I, I hook my hydraulic hoses to the remote, and then I use that going back and forth. But I need to flow all the way through, so you know I need the detent, or I need to stuff something in there, one or the other. And yeah, I'm probably not the only one with, with broken switches and stuff. Anyway, I thought that uh, I would show you at least the the hard hard part, of course, is taking the tire off, the tire and the wheel and get it so that you can work that's not too too much trouble um it's going to be a little bit more trouble getting it back on because i'm trying to use by myself anyway um remote kit two remotes the plumbing the mounting components all the covers all that the levers everything comes with the kit it's kind of expensive i think i paid thirteen hundred dollars with shipping and tax from Messix, and that is with a 10% discount during the month of December, where they offer 10% discounts on everything that they have in stock for things like this. So basically, I got my shipping and taxes paid um, to install this remote. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. At least it shows you kind of what I couldn't find on the internet, which was a New Holland TC35 remote kit install. There you go.